Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head down to Cornwall in the southwest of England and this is a brewery who I've wanted to do a dedicated review for for quite some time. The only other beers I've had involving these guys have been collaborations and things. So for this one we're going to head down to Falmouth in Cornwall which is home of course to Verdant Brewing Company. This one is the Pulp Double IPA. It comes in at 8% ABV and it should be a pretty bloody good. The likes of uh, Craig, Dean, Harry, Rob, uh, Brett of course as well, all the English guys that have been doing their beer reviews have said this is a bloody good beer so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. No doubt it will be a good beer, they wouldn't tell me it's a good beer if it's not so I'm looking forward to giving you guys my own take on this one and I hope you guys enjoy it. So anyway, as is usual with my reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting just fast forward, all the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website, link to my other reviews that I'll do from Verdant Brewing in the future. This is the very first time I'm doing a dedicated review to them. There are a few collaboration reviews in there of course though. There's all the usual social media. If you want to see more beer reviews do please consider subscribing to the channel. The whole channel has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country, city or state, whatever it is you're interested in. Do check out the playlist of beers from different countries. There is one there for all the English beers that I've reviewed for you and that's constantly being added to. And as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review. It's always great to hear from you guys that are watching the videos and the support that you show the channel is hugely appreciated. So anyway, to tell you a little bit about Verdant Brewing then. So Verdant Brewing, as I mentioned to you, are based in Falmouth and Cornwall and they were founded back in 2014 by Adam Robertson and James Heffern and they were later joined by Rich as well. So Adam was a designer by trade and James had actually been a home brewer for a number of years while Rich was an electrician who actually helped them build the brew and he later joined up as a partner. So they ordered their brewing equipment back in 2014 and they started brewing their beers the following year. Apparently at that time they were brewing around three times per week and giving them around 6,000 pints of output but initially they struggled to get their beers recognised in, uh, in Cornwall because of course you've got all the traditional kind of Cornish ale culture but they were actually doing very very well in different parts of the country I believe over by London and things like that going from what Craig and Brett were telling me these guys their beers really started to take off there but it was a little bit difficult for them to take hold in Cornwall I believe that is starting to change for them now I believe they've also upped their capacity and things like that as well and their beers have been quite widely recognised as being pretty bloody good so I'm glad that, I'm finally, that I've am finally been able to get a hold of one to review for you guys on the channel so yeah they've got a few different things there's one at the moment called Bloom there's also one that I tried with Rob with Hopsy and Rob over in Copenhagen called Putty which is a really good one. Hopefully I can get that and have a go at that beer at some point in the future as well. But I'm glad that I'm just able to kind of review one of their kind of regular kind of core range beers at the moment. So yeah, that's all you need to know about the brewery just now. If you want to read a little bit more about them, they've got a blog and things on the website. You can follow them on Facebook and stuff. You'll find the links to those in the video description below. So let's actually get on to the tasting of this beer itself then. So I do like the artwork on this one. It is quite distinctive. The Bloom, the regular IPA does have a kind of similar uh, artwork from what I saw. But yeah, nicely presented this one quite distinctive and this beer should be really good it's got a lot of kind of classic ingredients in it if that makes sense so this one comes in at 8% ABV the malt base in this was extra paleo best ale cara gold wheat and some dextrose and the hops in this one are citra equinot and columbus and the yeast is US05 and that's one that I love to homebrew with I've homebrewed with that yeast quite a few times so this beer might be a little bit kind of nostalgic for me I always love that it says this double IP is bigger in every way but still remains or still retains a dry finish that hides its strength. Massive fruit aromas and flavours combined with hazy golden looks and chewy body really do make this beer a stone fruit pulp fest. So drink hot fresh and this beer is vegan friendly apparently. So yeah, let's get stuck in then and see how we get on. Nice little bit of smoke on the opening there and we'll get out into the glass. I'll tell you something, you can smell the mangoes from the Citra right away. That's what's really jumping out from this beer at me. That looks pretty bloody good. So yeah, as you can see, and as you would expect from the IPA, this beer's poured a really nice, quite bright, yellowy orange colour. There's a solid finger of a frothy head on this one. I would say it's almost a little bit of a creamy colour. It's definitely not perfect white. One or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass there, and quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of that head. And you can see, if I put my fingers behind the glass, the beer is pretty opaque. It's not really transparent at all. But let's take a closer look at the aroma then, and just see how we got on. You can smell some of these lovely fruity notes coming off the beer. So yeah, with well, this one, definitely a little bit of mango in there. You can pick up some of the lime from the Equinot as well. The Equinot always gives you this really nice limey character, I found. But yeah, the mangoes are in there. 
lime like I'm saying, and it smells really juicy. You can pick up a little bit of the lychee and almost gooseberry notes that you'd expect from the citra. The citra is a brilliant hop that way. It gives you some really lovely just tropical fruit complexities. Mainly it's mango though, and you get the other ones a little bit later on. If you waft it at your nose like this, as we always do in the chemistry labs if we want to smell something pungent, you always waft it like that. And if you do that with this beer, you can kind of get a little bit of these gooseberries and... Uh, and sort of lychee notes that you'd expect from the citra. There's a good bit of a floral kind of spicy note to this one. That'll be the Columbus. Columbus gives you this really kind of um, sort of spicy, peppery kind of floral note to the beer. And you can pick that up a little bit as well. When it comes to the malty side of things though, you can smell a good little bit of that oaty sweetness. It's almost got a little bit of a biscuity character in it as well, which is cool. But it's a really, really nice smelling beer, this. It smells really fresh, really juicy. It does lean definitely towards that juicy side of things, but there's a nice malty smoothness underneath it as well. And interestingly, I'll, you can always usually tell when USO5 yeast is used in this one, but it's not quite as apparent in this beer because of the how pungent the hops are, just because of how juicy it is. So I was always going to say, there was a beer I had recently from a, a brewery just close to here in Durham, and you could really tell it was US 05 East that they'd used in it, from the just from the aroma. But with this one, it's definitely the hops. There's that nice spicy note from the Columbus is masking a lot of that. So yeah, take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you get stuck in. But let's have a go at this one now. So this one is the Pulp from the Verdant Brewery down in Falmouth in Cornwall. Let's get stuck in. Slanger, Skirl. Yeah, that's a bloody good beer. There's no two doubts about that, it's a bloody good beer. Yeah. If you haven't tried this one, have a go at it. I'll say that right away. It's, you know, it's just got everything you want. That's all you can say about this. It's got a lovely big hoppy bitterness and it's got that nice kind of smooth, that lovely kind of smooth, juicy New England IPA type thing to it. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's just really good. <laughs> I'm sort of laughing away at this one. It's, it's really nice. So yeah, malt base on this one then. You can feel a little bit of that kind of bready character there, just blanket in the middle of your palate. That's a little bit of that will be from the USO5 yeast. The USO5 has this quite distinctive bready quality to it, but you can feel later on in the flavour, as it mellows out a little bit, you do start to get a little bit of the kind of wheat characters out of the beer and the dextrose, that kind of almost... Dextrose and lactose kind of give you very similar mouthfeels, I always find, and you can definitely pick out a little bit of that dextrose quality to the beer, and it gives it a lovely smoothness in the middle of the palate. But right down the centre line of your tongue, you've got a nice sort of biscuity note coming out of this one. And it's I just like how that all goes together. The malt base in this beer really kind of binds quite well together with the estery flavours that it has, or the, the yeasty ester flavours that the beer has. Yeah. I do like how this it, how it goes together, this beer. It's just... It's really nice in terms, it, it's one of these ones, I think that the one that um, I remember trying from, uh, it was Abeltoft Gore Bragery who are from Denmark, they had this beer called Raw Power. It was a single hop citra beer and it was it was a New England IPA and it was simple in what it was doing but it just did it really well. This beer kind of strikes me in the same way as that. It's not trying to be too complex, it's trying to be kind of fairly simple within its sort of style category and just doing it really well and it certainly, for me, it certainly it hits all the right notes. So a big thumbs up to Verdant Brewing Company for this one, they've done a bloody good job with it. Yeah, it's a good beer that. In the back corners of the palate then, tiny little bit of earthiness there, but as you come further forward along the sides of the tongue, you can pick up a little bit, you can definitely pick up that Columbus sort of as the bitter, I'm sure they'll have used the Columbus as the bittering hop in this one. 
you can really feel that sort of spicy floral aromatic. There's a bit of a peppery quality to it as well. You can really feel that on the sides of your tongue. And as you go round the very front curve of your palate, you can feel that it just gets a little bit lighter. And there is still some of that floral quality there, but it's a, li a little bit of a lighter kind of grassy note that comes out of it there. Just behind the front curve of the palate though, that's where you get that little oily bubble where all these kind of juicy fruity notes come out in this one. There's a little bit of, um, you can feel a little bit of the sort of uh, grapefruit just kind of underpinning that one, which is nice. You can feel that just giving you a little bit of a base on that front part of your tongue. On top of it though, you get the juicy mangoes, you can feel later on in the flavour the lychees and the gooseberry notes coming out from the citra, but the lime presence is quite strong as well. The lime from the equinot in this one is pushing its way out a little bit and that kind of, it almost gives a little bit of strength to that grapefruity flavour because you shouldn't get too much grapefruit from this one. Citra will give you a little bit of grapefruit but it should lean a little bit more towards the kind of mangoey side of things. But the lime note from the equinot in this really does push out the grapefruit a little bit which is quite interesting actually. I've never really thought about um, equinot in that regard so maybe when it comes to my home brewing things that's something I need to watch out for a little bit. But it's really nicely done that. There's, you know, it just, it, as I say, in terms of its feel, it's quite simple this one. It doesn't try to be too compl complex using all these different hops and things like that. It just kind of goes straight for it and it does it very, very well. The, the I would say about this one, it, you can feel a little bit the alcohol in this one. And it's just, it, but it's the malt base kind of smooths it out quite nicely. But in the aftertaste, you can pick out just a little bit of that kind of boozy quality to it, which is quite nice. It does give it a little bit of a kind of warming feel. Um, in terms of the mouth feel of this beer, then I would say it's mid bodied. Yeah, mid bodied. Carbonation's kind of a moderate on this one. It does have a little bit of a prickle to it. It's quite an oily mouth feel, this beer. Uh, good hoppy bitterness to it. Malt base is quite smooth. There's a little bit of sweetness to it, but overall it's more smooth than anything else. And there's a good little bit of a kind of juicy fruity note to the beer as well. The fruity flavour in this one, it's got quite a bit of that darker character initially, but then it just mellows out to give you a, a little bit more of that kind of juicier, lighter kind of tropical fruit flavour. But it does, it, as I say, this beer in terms of feel, it's quite simple in what it's going for, but it does it really well. That's the type of beer this one is for me. So a big thumbs up to Verdant for this one. Pulp is, is, is a really bloody good beer. Hopefully I can try Bloom at some point and see how we get on with that. But it's, it's really nice. In terms of the New England IPA sort of thing, it's pretty good this one. It's not quite got the smoothness or, and the oaty sweetness in the malt base that you get from some of them. But it's a really pretty good beer and I would recommend that you have a go at this one. So yeah, I think that's a good way to sign off in this beer. A beer that, um, and its kind of concept is quite simple, but it does it really, really quite well. I think that's a good way sign off on this one. It's got it's, it's very kind of straight kind of down the line if you like. It does what it aims to do very very well. So yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed this beer review. Thank you once again for watching. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. I'm really glad that I got to try one of these verdant beers. You know, it's been really cool. It's a brewery I've wanted to try kind of on their own for some time. So hopefully I can return to them in the future. You will see those reviews coming up of course. So keep an eye out on my social media and things like that. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below. Let me know your favourite beers are from Verdant as well. Let me know if there's any other breweries down the sort of Cornwall area that I should be checking out too. I know Bristol's a bit of a beer hub and Cornwall, there's Harbour Brewery, there's Verdant. I don't know if they are from down there as well, but I know there's quite a few uh, little Cornish breweries popping up as well that are worth checking out. So do get in touch and let me know about those. But the Verdant Pulp, a lovely double IPA at 8% from Verdant down in Falmouth and Cornwall. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you guys very soon. Make sure you have a go at this beer for yourself and see how you get on. Slanging just now. Let's go.